Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mommy makeup routine, I guess. Um, a lot of you guys ask me what makeup I use and how I do my makeup. So I figured I'd go ahead and do this video. I'm not a makeup artist or a pro whatsoever. I just, this is literally just what I do every day. I'm not claiming that I know how to do my makeup either because I really don't. The first thing I do is just take some micellar water just to get off any makeup I had on from the night before. And then I'm taking my Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my face. Clearly, that's what I'm doing. So the foundation I use is the Revlon Color Stay in the shade 150 Buff because I'm as pale as a vampire. And right here, I forgot to take out my nose ring. I just don't like to get it on my nose ring because it's gross. But I just basically put little dots of the foundation all around my face. And then I'm just taking the Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender, whatever. I've never used like the actual Beauty Blender because I refuse to spend that much money on it, but this one works pretty well. Literally just blending the foundation into my face, just like a dabbing motion. You know what you do with a Beauty Blender. <laughs> And this is probably my least favorite part of doing my makeup just because it takes forever to blend it all in. But I don't know, I have to wear foundation because I have scarring and redness. And then I'm just wiping the foundation that I got on my lips off because I do not want to look like I did in middle school when I thought that wearing foundation as lipstick was cute. And then I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent just to set my foundation. I'm taking this e.l.f. bronzing palette. I have no clue what it's called, but I'm just gonna be applying the bronzer on as best as I can. I'm not a pro at this, guys. Like, I'm just, I'm doing the best that I can here. <laughs> and then now I'm just blending out the bronzer so it doesn't look as harsh. And then I take this Kat Von D blush like palette thing. I have no clue what the actual name of this is called, but I got it at TJ Maxx a while ago and I like it. So I'm just applying the blush, I guess, to the apples of my cheeks. And then I also do the forehead area where I put on bronzer as well. And then right here, I'm just taking like a blending brush and just blending out my blush so it's not as harsh as it was. For highlighter, I use, I believe it's Makeup Revolution, this little highlighter I have. I got it at Ulta for like three bucks, so it was super cheap, and I think it works pretty well. So then I'm just going to, you know, get that highlight pop in. I also highlight my forehead area, my nose. And then I will be doing, I think it's called your Cupid's bow. I'm not sure, but whatever that area is, I'm highlighting. And then I'm just going to be blending out the rest of the highlight on my forehead. And then I'm trying to act like I know what these brushes are called, but I really have no clue. I just know they're BH Cosmetics. So then I'm taking the highlight that I used on my everywhere else on my face and just putting it in my inner corner. I don't know why I do that. I just think it looks good. And then I'm brushing out my ratchet eyebrows. I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I just brush them. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with this um, eyelash curler I got from Forever 21 when I was 12 years old. And I've been using it for years. <laughs> and I have never cleaned it once. And then the eyeliner I use is the Maybelline Unstoppable, but honestly, this sucks. Like, I 10 out of 10 don't recommend this. It literally doesn't come off when you put it on. I don't know if you can tell how, like, awful it is, but I just don't want to spend money on another eyeliner when I just bought this. So I'm going to use it until it's gone, but I'm not repurchasing this because it sucks.
And then I use the Rocket Volume Mascara from Maybelline. I've been using this mascara for years now and it works amazing. It's more like a volumizing, I guess, mascara more than lengthening, which my lashes don't need lengthening. They're already pretty long. So I 10 out of 10 recommend this one. Do my bottom lashes and stab myself in the eye every single time. And then that's it for the makeup portion of this. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna be doing is doing my hair. Most of the time I will straighten my hair. The straightener I use is the Chi. I don't know why it says Global Beauty. I don't know if that's the same brand. I'm pretty sure it is because when I bought it, it said Chi on the box, but I just use that straightener. It kind of sucks. I paid $60 for it from TJ Maxx and it kind of sucks, but not really, kind of. And then I'm just going to clip my hair up um, and divide my hair into sections and then just straighten it all. So this whole process, it's obviously being pressed forward, but it does take about like 30 minutes total. This is the finished product after straightening my hair. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it answered some of your guys' questions about what makeup I use and how I do my makeup. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.